Hey everyone, welcome to another training video in MD102 Microsoft 365 Endpoint Administrator series. In this training video, I will cover the learning path 2 which is execute device enrollment and the module 1 of this learning path that is manage device authentication. In the next video, I will cover enroll devices using the Microsoft Intune. My name is Navneet Kumar and I'm a Microsoft Certified Trainer. I welcome you to this series. In case you are new to my channel, please do subscribe the channel for more updates in future and hit the bell icon for getting the updates about my latest videos. This module is about Manage Device Authentication where I will discuss the device authentication capabilities, the device management solutions and then Later in next video, I will cover the enrollment of the devices to the Microsoft Intune. Well, the module one objectives are describing the Microsoft Entra join. Why shall we care about it? Examine Microsoft Entra join prerequisites, limitations and the benefits. Join devices to Microsoft Entra and then manage devices joined to Microsoft Entra. Talking about the Microsoft Entra joint devices, we have many benefits of joining the devices to Microsoft Entra. And one of them is that the devices joined to the Entra ID can be enrolled to Intune automatically and can be managed for mobile device management, configuration, compliance and settings and for the mobile application management. Windows Pro and the Enterprise Editions can join the Microsoft Entra and Active Directory domain services. The Entra join applies to the corporate owned devices, the devices that have been purchased by the company and have been distributed to the, its employees. Microsoft Entra join devices cannot be managed with the group policies because the Microsoft Entra does not have a concept of group policy, whereas we use the MDM solutions for the device management, be it Microsoft's Intune or VMware's Workspace ONE, Mobileron or Citrix Endpoint Manager, formerly known as Zen Mobile. Typical scenarios for joining a device to Microsoft Entra are if applications and resources that you are mostly using are in the cloud, if you want to separate the temporary accounts, if you want to enable users to join their devices to the corporate environment, you want to transition to cloud-based infrastructure and killing your on-prem directory infrastructure, and you want to have the control on these devices. You have remote branch offices with limited on-premises infrastructure. These are some of the use cases where we join the devices to the Microsoft Entra and control them with MDM and MAM solutions. Join devices to Microsoft Entra during the initial setup or later we can do it from the settings app in the Windows 10 or 11 you may have used most likely. Use hybrid Microsoft Entra to automatically register on-prem domain join devices with Microsoft Entra. In the previous module, we did the hybrid setup for the identities where we have seen the synchronization of users and the groups. In the coming topics, we will also see that how we can join the devices to the ADDS and then synchronize them to the Entra ID as the devices or hybrid joint devices. Microsoft Entra join prerequisites, limitations and benefits. Number one, Microsoft Entra limitations. Microsoft Entra is not a part of the core infrastructure service. It's a managed service, basically. You have limited control on it. It's also referred as identity as a service sometimes. Microsoft Entra does not have the same management capabilities as ADDS. We have discussed in the previous module, like the architecture is a flat structure architecture as compared to ADDS where ADDS is x.500 hierarchical architecture. We don't have group policies in the Microsoft Entra. We do not have OUs to bifurcate or generating a hierarchy. 
there are many limitations with this Microsoft Entra as compared to the ADDS. The authentication protocols are also different which are SAML or WS Federation or OpenID Connect as compared to ADDS which is Kerberos. For more details, I recommend you to visit the first video of this uh, series on the learning path one on managing identities in Microsoft Entra ID. Microsoft Entra benefits are it offers single sign on for business to business collaboration using the single identity you can access applications from different resource providers or maybe from the same company you have multiple SaaS applications enterprise applications you can access them roaming of user settings across joint windows hello support we have the enterprise state roaming that we can configure windows hello support for biometric authentications restrictions of accessing to apps from only compliant devices we can have seamless access to the on-prem resources also with this. In terms of Windows Hello, later we will see the configuration of Windows Hello, how we can enable the passwordless authentication, which is considered as the most secure method of authentication today. Scenarios enabled by using the Microsoft Entra with on-premises AD infrastructure. We get ease of transition to the cloud-based infrastructure and the MDM. When on-premise domain join is not possible, tablets, phones in this case. When users primarily need to access Microsoft 365 or the other SaaS applications integrated with Microsoft Entra, you want to manage uh, groups of users in Microsoft Entra instead of in Active Directory. You want to provide joining capabilities to workers in remote branch offices with limited on-premises infrastructure. Next is about joining the devices to Microsoft Entra. Joining a device is a quite simple process. You can join the Microsoft Entra after Windows installation or you can join it anytime later the installation and from the set settings pane you can register or join the device from the settings app. You need Microsoft Entra credentials, which is your work or school account and a setting enabled by administrator to let the users join the devices. Or we can set up the device enrollment uh, agents that are responsible for joining the devices to the Entra ID. Manage devices join to the Microsoft Entra. Group policy manages devices that are joined to the on-premises Active Directory domain services that we are doing in our classic or the traditional IT infrastructure. Group policy is not always available or supported for devices that join Microsoft Entra. We need to look for mapping the settings or configuration policies that we do through the group policies in on-premises. Microsoft Entra supports integration with mobile device management applications like Microsoft's Intune or as I mentioned earlier that we have many third party tools that we also can use like Citrix Endpoint Manager or Mobileron or we can use uh, VMware's Workspace ONE. When integration between Intune and Microsoft Entra is configured, which is by default enabled, then a device that joins the Microsoft Entra automatically is enrolled to Microsoft Intune. Later in the demonstrations, you will see that when a device is joined to the Entra ID, it is automatically enrolled to Intune and can be configured and managed through it. Well, this is about the module one, which is about the device authentications and a little bit about the Microsoft Entra join where in the next module and next video, I will cover the enrollment of these devices to the Microsoft Intune by either registering them to the Entra ID or Entra join or with hybrid. I hope this tutorial was informative to you. Thanks for watching and do subscribe the channel for latest updates on my channel. Thank you.